I don't know how I'm gonna do this. Um. Okay. We just got. Oh. I'm not getting up to get it. I should have enough in here. Okay. Let's do it. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to my channel with a solid clap in. <laughs> my name is Vinnie McKell. Thank you so much for being here with me today. Today we are continuing my recap series where I go through month by month or two months at a time and go over all of my perfume purchase, purchases, give updated thoughts, also see how much money I've been spending. <laughs> so this is going to be October. I technically think this is a little... Well, I tried to go by what I talked about on my channel that's really kind of how i'm doing it. it's like okay look at my october videos see what i talked about so this is october um before we get into that i have to thank my amazing beautiful incredible subscribers this week that this goes up is going to be a fast paced week with a lot of content but i know you guys are going to pop hold it down um and i'm just extraordinarily extraordinarily grateful for you all that i get to be myself with my content and do creative things and i feel like even if the things don't always go even if it's not the best idea i still feel the support like okay maybe tailored this way whatever whatever but as i'm exploring and coming up with different things i really feel like i have y'all support to be myself and be creative and that is the most important thing to me in the whole wide world I love y'all so, so much. Y'all engage with the content. Y'all like. Y'all watch the ads. Y'all are top tier subscribers. And it literally don't get no better than y'all. Now that we got out, that out the way. Let's jump into it. Because we got a lot of perfume purchases to show for October. So. I think the first thing that I did was. The Oolgasm line. Which. She just announced a new release. I don't want it. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't want it. It's smoky oud. I'm all set. I ain't even gonna hold you. I'm all set. I don't want it. Um, I didn't even do because she released four with the ouds, right? She did vanilla, rose, cafe, and tobacco. When I initially bought them, I never even bought tobacco because I was like, there's no point. I'm not gonna like that. Now you're releasing another level smoky oud. Mm mm. Mm mm, baby. Mm -mm, I want that. So, anyway, let's do the three that I do have. So, this first one is Kayali Oodgasm Vanilla Oud. And I don't know if you can see. I have worn this a couple times. I don't think it's coming up. But it's right at the top of the A and L I. That's we're kind of almost halfway done with it. So, I have worn this a couple times. I actually reached for this the other day. I am still undecided if I want a full bottle of this or not. I feel like, well, number one, y'all already know I'm not a vanilla, boring vanilla lover. Okay, if it's a boring vanilla, I'm not really here for it. Um, Having that said, it's not a boring vanilla. However, to me, this still kind of feels like a combination of some of her, like, some other releases from her right so it feels like a mix between like young pistachio maybe a little bit of silk centaur and maybe like i can't remember i forgot there was a third one that i was like it smells like a a hybrid of three of previous releases and i'm pretty sure this line too with the oud was more expensive than the rest of the perfumes i think these are like 140 or something like that but it leans a little masculine to a little. Just a smidgen. A li well, okay. It does lean a little masculine. Here is where I'm at with where, like, why I'm undecided. Because there is some character to it. And it's not a boring vanilla. Right? And it's, it's not a dislike. So because of that, I'm kind of leaning towards like, okay, maybe. But then also I'm like, mm, it's more expensive than the other ones, than her normal line. And I don't know if I think this is a necessity. I'm also still undecided on 
how good the performance is on this one. Sometimes I wear it and I think, okay, it can't be smelled. And then other times I'm like, no, this is actually, I can't, I can't get a good read on it. I can't figure out if this has good performance or not. What are the notes for this? I feel like I'm getting yum pistachio in here a little bit. I don't know, y'all. I kind of like it. If you can see what I just typed into Google. If they figured what I'm trying to say. And they did. Yeah, the full. So what is this? A 50 mil is 140. That's a little high. For the. Because that's only a 1.7 ounce. For 140, that's a little steep. Notes. We got pear, praline, and saffron in the top. The middle is Bulgarian rose. The base is cashmere wood, vanilla sugar, white musk, oak moss, and oud. In terms of it, I, it's not heavy on the oud. When she said that, right? When she released it, she was like, there's different tiers to the, or different levels of intensity of the oud in each line. Vanilla had the lowest amount, the lowest intensity of oud, which is true, right? I don't smell this and go, oh my God, too heavy on the wood. Like, no. It's not like that. And when I say it leans a little masculine, it really, it's not, it doesn't lean masculine. That's not true. It just, it could be unisex. And it is unisex. I think that's what I'm getting. It's just, it's more unisex. I'm not going to say masculine. I'm going to say unisex. I don't, I still am undecided. I like it. And there's part of me that feels like I do want it in a bigger size. But then there's part of me that's just like, mm. There's part of me that feels like, girl, just combine some other stuff and do this instead of paying 140 And I think you can get this when the Sephora sale comes back around. I think you can buy this from the Sephora website and get the extra 20% off or 15 depending on what level you are. So that's a possibility, but also where I'm at, there's other things, perfumes that I've been waiting to purchase a full size of. I feel like this might easily get knocked off, right? Because this was available to purchase on a bigger size at the last VIB sale, right? The last VIB sale and the last couple of sales they had at the end of December, fragrance sale and whatever with the 20% off, and I still didn't get it. I like it, but I think, I don't know, for $140, I don't know. I don't know. Um, is there anything else I wanted to say about it besides the, the ooh? Don't be scared of the ooh because it's not overbearing because I don't like ooh. So if it was in there, I'd be like, uh-uh, girl. Yeah, I don't know. I'm, it's, it's not a love. It's, not a, it's, a, it's a strong like. I ain't going to hold you. If somebody came out with a really good dupe of it, I would buy it. And wouldn't, be, and wouldn't purchase the full thing. I ain't gonna hold you. Tell her she's from the devil. If somebody do what or somebody said we done found, we done duped Vanilla Oob for $30, $40, I'm gonna get it. I am. Okay. Let's do Kayali Oogasm Cafe Oob. Now, baby, when I smelled this one, it was a strong no. Then I smelled smelled it again I think because I did a video in December I think where I reviewed my entire Kayali line I think and I couldn't find Cafe Oud so I ended up finding it while I was cleaning up and I made a post and I was like it's still giving no so let's smell it again and see if it's still giving no mm-mm mm-mm Mm. <laughs> no. Mm-mm. Woo! Mm-mm. <laughs> That's all I have to say about that one. It's giving a little nail polish with a little coffee with a little wood. Uh-uh. And, and I, that was the third level. So I know it went... Or was that the second level? I think it went Vanilla Rose Cafe, then Tobacco. But I could be wrong. I'm not seeing on here what level it's at. But if I find it, I'll put it on the screen what level of intensity it is. The notes for this were Bergamot, mm, Bergamot Mandarin Cappuccino. The middle is Geranium Rose and Damascina. The base is Vanilla Madagascar, White Musk, Patchouli, and Oud. I don't like it. Like, truly... Strong dislike. <laughs> it's a no for me. So last on this from the line that I got is Oodgasm Rose Oud. <sighs> when I first smelled it on the tester, I was like, it's just giving 
basic rose. Then when I smelled it on my skin, I'm like, no, 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 no. We got a little something extra. And I'm going to tell you right now, as even as this has sat, it done got stronger. It done got stronger. It's still giving a rose that I've smelled before just from the tester strip. However, I have also worn this one a couple of times. I do want a bigger size of this one. I do want the full size of this one. For me, the performance, even on the first time I wore this, I was getting nonstop compliments. And I was well into past the six, seven hour mark. And I, I remember I got into my car. They was like, you smell good. I was like, who oh, me? <laughs> but, it's, and I want a bigger size to the true shame the devil. It's not because of the smell, right? I like the smell, but I have plenty of rose perfumes in my collection. I am a perfume. I love, love rose and perfumes. So, this isn't the most innovative perfume smell when it comes to rose. However, the performance is really, really good. Really, really good. Just from the tester, it's like a fresher rose from the tester. Can I smell this on my skin? I really shouldn't because I have so much to smell. But on the, on the skin, you definitely get more of the oud. And you do. You definitely get more of the oud. It's definitely giving. Ooh. You got to be careful. Because that is, it's in there. I ain't even going to hold you. That's why I'm like, this may be the third tier or intensity. I can't remember. On the skin, it's like, hello. <laughs> it's definitely there. But from the couple times that I've worn it, it doesn't stay a long time to me if I remember. Or it's, I don't get over, I don't feel overwhelmed when I wear it. Um, and of course, I always layer. I have perfume oils. I have body care. You know, the whole thing. I can layer with other perfumes. So... I do want, like I said, I do want a bigger size, but it's not because of the smell. It's just because the, the performance is really, really good. Are any of those blind by safe? Honestly, to me, no. I I don't think any of them are blind by safe. Uh, maybe the vanilla one, maybe. But not the cafe and not the rose one either. Unless you know that you like oud. If you know that you like oud and you know that you like rose... Or you don't mind a little oud in your fragrances, then okay, rose might be blind safe, vanilla. Still not that cafe. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Okay, we spent so much time there. Let's do Dawkins Aroma. So the first one is easy because if you don't know, I, I, this is from Dawkins Aroma, Black Owned Business. This is Shy Love, which is their version of Love Don't Be Shy. Yeah, I don't really care. If, I don't even care for Love Don't Be Shy. I'm not going to spray this because I got a lot to get through. Um, however, I've already purchased this in the body oil and in the bigger perfume, which I'll get to in the November haul next month. Um, the next episode should be in there. Um, however, Shia Love from this, I fell in love with it. I enjoy this one and I don't even care. Like I said, I don't care for the original, but I really, really love this. Let me tell y'all something. I wore this. I actually grabbed, wore the full bottle. I really should do a separate short about this because this combo was a banger. I wore Dawkins Roma Shy Love with Givenchy Lentredi Rouge. Oh! A problem. A problem. And I wanted to capitalize. I don't even know if there's marshmallow in Givenchy Lentil de Rouge. I don't know. But I was like, there's something in here that's... Or maybe they both have orange blossom. I think they both have orange blossom. Whatever it is... I can only tell you what I tell you. But I don't want to spend too much time on that because I, I repurchased that in the bigger size. It's a love. Okay. This is twice baked. Y'all, why did I forget that the Dawkins Roma sale ended on the 23rd and I went on a Sunday to go buy it and I said the 23rd was yesterday, not today. So I missed my 30% off to get bigger bottles of stuff that I wanted. Who's kicking themselves? Me. <sighs> Me. <laughs> and that would have been perfect when we used to Black History Month. What was I thinking? I was trying to wait. I was waiting on something. Don't do that no more. <laughs> Does this have a... Okay, so this is Dawkins Roma Twice Baked, which I think is a dupe for Zerja Italica. Okay, never smelled that one. This is my only reference is Twice Baked. Um, For me not to be a gourmand girly, I really, really like this. 
really really enjoy this you can smell you can ugh. this almost smells somewhat nostalgic too like I feel like I feel like there's an old lip gloss or something that I used to wear as a kid that kind of reminds me of this anyway I do want a bigger size of this um does it make me want to go it, I ain't gonna hold you it kind of does make me want to smell the original and not because it's bad but just because I'm like if this is what that's smelling like then what's the original hitting on I don't remember what performance is like. I've worn it a couple times. Let me see. Yeah, just a couple times. Not too many. I don't really know what the performance is, but I ain't gonna hold you. It don't matter. I'm gonna buy it. I'm gonna, when the next sale they have, I'm gonna get the bigger size. I'm gonna put this one in there, even though I didn't write this down. Am I? Maybe I'm not. Here it is. I feel like Black Rose, I bought it again during, yeah, I think Black Rose was in this as well, but I forgot that I already purchased another sample of it, and when I first bought it earlier, either 2023 or, or the end of 2022, I didn't like it, but then all of a sudden when I smelled it again in last year, I was like, I loved it, which... Just shows you how much your sense of smell evolves because I know for sure when I first got this, I did not like this. I was like, this is going to have to grow on me. I smelled it again in that hall and I was like, oh my gosh, what is this? And I was putting stuff away and I'm like, I already have this. And I was like, I remember I smelled this before and couldn't stand it. Now I love it. So this is another one I absolutely have to have a full bottle. And oh, this thing got better. Oh my God. Y'all. <laughs> Ooh, is this blind by safe? No. Get you a sample first. Let me see if I can find what this is supposed to be. I think the notes are still up. Black Rose, sweet juicy plum paired with exquisite rose, irresistible creamy vanilla, and earthy patchouli. Y'all, this thing is so good. You, The plum at the top comes through so, so, so good. And it's like, it's almost polarizing plum with patchouli and vanilla, it's like you got polar opposites happening. It comes together in such a beautiful way. I think this is one of their originals too. So good, so mature. I don't, it doesn't. I don't care what their performance, longevity. I don't care about any of that. I will be repurchasing a full bottle, which is why I'm so mad that I forgot that the sale ended and it was thirty percent off. <gasps> Okay, also in there we have Vanilla Woods, which I'm pretty sure this one is supposed to be a dupe for Nishane's Ani, I think. I'm not sure what I'm smelling anymore. And I remember about this one. I was like, it smells nice, but it smells a little masculine. And I was like, I don't know how I feel about that. Let me see if I feel the same. <coughs> Whoa! This smells like a forest. Whoa! This smells like somebody... Whoa! Wow. Um, the, yes, Nishane's Ani, this seductive, sweet, and spicy woody blend is composed of bergamot, ginger, pink pepper, cardamom, patchouli, cedarwood, smooth vanilla, sandalwood, benzoin, amber, and musk. This thing got scrum. Oh, I ain't gonna be able to do this. This smells like somebody sprayed air freshener in Home Depot. This smells like a, a lumber yard. Woo! Ah. <laughs> so sorry. I'm not going to be able to do that one. And lastly, this is Cozy Cola, which this is supposed to be, I think, Tonka Cola from, I forgot. But I do know, I, I do want to smell the original of Tonka Cola. I think it's Tonka Cola. Hold on. Cozy Cola is a dupe for Mancera's Tonka Cola. Um, experience the delectable, inviting ambiance of an old-fashioned soda shop. A sweet, delightful fragrance with notes of black cherry, cinnamon, nutmeg, cola, patchouli, tonka, vanilla, benzoin, and labdanum. And I remember when I smelled this, I was like, it smells like those packets that you can buy to like put in your closet or your drawers to like help your 
closet and stuff smell good. I was like, that's what it smells like. So let's see if my opinion has changed since then. Okay. It smells like that a little bit, but I also now get the cola. Like I also almost get a little fizziness. Am I, is my nose playing tricks on me? I still kind of get that closet uh, freshener packet vibe. But also I'm getting a little pop now too. This is interesting. I don't know when or what to wear that with though. It's an interesting perfume. But if that smells like the original perfume, I don't know if I would want a full bottle of it. Not because it's bad, but because I just feel like, where am I going to wear that to? When do I wear that? What do I wear that with? I don't know. I don't know. We, I don't know about that one. That kind of still makes me want to get a sample of the original. So, we also have some Zara perfumes. This was from my trip to New York for my birthday, and I purchased some Zara perfumes. So it's really September, but I didn't talk about it till October, so we're doing it for October. Um, this is By Love, which from the name, you would think it would be a dupe of Love Don't Be Shy. But it's not. <laughs> it's a dupe for, I don't remember. I can't remember what this one is a dupe for. I just know this is one where I'm like, the notes that y'all said aren't right. Because all they say is like sandalwood, patchouli, and rose. And there's like some bubble gum in here. It's got something else in here. And I'm like, y'all are not listing all the notes. <laughs> Somebody said, I don't have a refined nose, but this doesn't smell like a single note listed. And that's true. Like whatever notes they said, um, it's it's not. Somebody said it's a close relative of Linterdy. And I'm going to agree with that. Um, so I'm going to say, I'm going to agree with the math. It is not reminiscent of anything patchouli, rose, nothing. It's almost like they made a mistake and put it with the wrong thing. Because there's just no way. There's no way. However, I do really like this. I don't know if you can see. I've worn this a couple times. There's a little dent. I want a bigger bottle of this. But at the moment, it's sold out. So I probably missed my chance on that. Ooh, that was a good spray. Yeah. Ooh-wee. So good. So good. I think if you like... Um, Givenchy Lanter D, Latafa Fakar, um, George Armani My Way. If you like things in that DNA, I think you would thoroughly, thoroughly enjoy this. This does not feel like a Zara perfume. It feels like definitely a more expensive higher-end perfume. However, I understand people's frustration because those notes are incredibly, incredibly misleading. If I had read those notes and was expecting that, and got this. I can see how people be. I could see why people would be upset. Because that's just incredibly misleading. Why would you even say that? Like, no. It's clearly in that tuberose, white floral, bubble gum. It's clearly in that DNA. And listing notes of patchouli, rose, and wood. It's just. What were y'all thinking? <laughs> so, it's a love for me. I love it. I recommend it if you like. If you know you like perfumes in that. Javinci Linter D, Latafa Fakar, George Armani My Way. If you like scents in that DNA, then it's an absolute recommend. But they kind of, they, that's very misleading for them to do that. This is Velvet Shadow, which is their version of Love Don't Be Shy. Um, which you're probably like, girl, you got a lot of dupes for Love Don't Be Shy. Because I'm finding that I enjoy the dupes of Love Don't Be Shy more than the original. It's very much so. People's interpretation of it is much more enjoyable to me than the original. I don't know why, but that's just my truth. Okay, so this is Velvet Shadow. I'm going to say this is actually pretty close to the original, and I'm not liking it anymore. <laughs> when I first smelled this, I enjoyed it. But now that it's sat for a couple of months, it's actually... There's something in here I don't like. It's not even, it's like this being sweet was an afterthought. I don't know. This is definitely changing. I don't know, y'all. I'm not feeling it. This thing was on sale for $3.99. When do the Zara sales be happening and why do I be missing them? When do the Zara sales be happening and why do I be missing them? This thing just says the, the 100 mil was started off as $22.99 and it was on sale for $3.99. When did I? What? I think it said the same thing on, um... 
for by love originally $22.99 was on sale for $3.99 when did I miss the Zara perfume being on sale for $4 where was I at why nobody tell me they be having sales in secret I don't like that tell me okay whatever that was at the top is going away um this is feeling closer to the original love don't be shy so I'm gonna say if you like the love don't be shy DNA then this is good if you're not a fan of it then I'm gonna say no because I'm not I'm not really vibe I'm not really feeling that one so thankfully that's only in a what is this a one ounce so I'll be able to finish that soon and yes you can look forward to seeing that in my series it's a dupe or no hey it's a dupe or not this is apple juice from zara which i'm almost sure this is supposed to be a dupe for a chanel perfume um i think i said it then and i think i'll say it again this does feel like an inexpensive version of the original some things from them i'm like no this smells like a higher end designer perfume like it's not giving cheap like whatever whatever it's giving you know luxe whatever this one, while it does not smell bad, it does feel like an inexpensive version of the original. However, if you know you, what is, I'll put it on the screen, whatever it's supposed to be duped for. I'm pretty, it's a Chanel Chance, I think. I can't remember which one, but I'm almost certain it's a dupe for a Chanel perfume. Having that said, if I, because I do want the original perfume. So, as a person who wants the original now that I have this, am I like, oh, I'm satisfied I don't want the original? No. I can't. This, this is not that for me. It's still giving. This is a cute, you know, alternative until I get the real thing. But I still want the real thing. Now, again, it doesn't smell bad. This is going to be beautiful in the spring and summer. I don't. I can't speak to the longevity because, again, I got this in September. And we were definitely transitioning into cold weather. So I didn't get a chance to wear this much and enjoy this. So I can't really speak to the longevity and the performance. However, I know this was still... I think I paid $20 for that. So I'm not upset. Um, it's going to layer well and go with a lot of things. But it's not... It's not giving... Replace the original. You don't need the original. It's giving... If you smell that... Can I say... I would, see if, I would say if you smell that and you like that and whatever it's supposed to be a dupe for... If you like that, then you might like the original, but I can't say it's a replacement for the original. Okay, this is Fields at Nightfall from Zara. Child, why do these letters look like? Fail, yells, at, ch -ch fall. <laughs> Can y'all see that? I don't know if that's coming up or not, but the words are all disgruntled. Oh, and I just rubbed them all off. <laughs> oh, that is so tacky. Now the words. <laughs> oh my God! See, and now whoever was uh, <laughs> if somebody was anti Zara perfume, they would definitely be after that because I'm using old tester strips and I'm making sure they don't have nothing on them. That's why I keep smelling them. Okay, if somebody was anti Zara, that would just seal the deal. The letters rubbing off like they were never there. Come on, Zara. Anyway, there really isn't no need to review this because I've already bought this in a bigger size because this is a love for me. Love, 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 love. This is right up my alley with like a masculine unisex scent that leans sweet. I'm sorry, this just does it for me. And I think this is supposed to be the dupe for some name I don't remember. Zoltag and Voldemort. This is her. Some something in that vein, y'all. Woo! So good. Blind by safe? No. Unless you know you like unisex, somewhat masculine leaning scents that kind of sweeten up a little bit. Unless you know you like that, then no. Not blind by safe. Okay, let's move. This is Zara Golden Decade, which I need to pull this out and use this more because this is a really, really, really good dupe for YSL Libre. Like, really, really good really 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 good i'm probably gonna put this on my um my march tray because i need to use that more 
but really, 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 really good dupe for YSL Libre. Um, if you, why the original isn't in your budget or you're not sure and you're like, let me get an inexpensive version, Golden Decade is really, really good. Really, really good. Okay, now this one I don't even want to smell. This is Dolce & Gabbana, the one. I got this in the travel size because it was like $20 or something at Marshall's. I said it then and I'll say it again. This, you can smell that this is an older perfume. You can smell it. I called it when I first smelled it. I said, this smell like it's old. And I looked it up short enough from 2005. Which, I was born in the 90s. So I'm not saying that 2005 is just like the dark ages. But what I'm saying is it smells dated. And it, it is. It's almost 20 years old. Some perfumes it, are just happen to stand the test of time. They were ahead of the curve or you know whatever the case may be it doesn't mean that all perfumes from then are bad that's not what i'm saying i'm saying some perfumes just still smell like the era that came out in and to me this is one of them it's it's as a set it's it's gotten a little bit better it's not terrible um but it's definitely not full bottle worthy to me yeah um that'll be a one and done <laughs> when that travel size is done i don't know yeah i don't like that i don't like that um, this is Dolce & Gabbana Devotion. Okay, this was all the rage, all the hype. And I said when I first smelled this, I smelled it in the store. There was something like bitter or peppery or something that pulled on my skin and I was like, no way. Then it kept going viral and everybody was like, lemon, cake, whatever, whatever. And I was like, okay, well, let me get to see if I'm tripping. Um, I think this is also going to be a one and done for me. Um, there is something at the top or at the opening that is just, I don't love. I don't love, and I don't think I want a full bottle of this. I have smelled other perfumes that are lemon heavy, lemon forward, lemon cake. If you saw my video where I was opening up packages, uh, some amazing subscribers sent me some things, and I was able to smell some other things that, uh, were lemon cake. You know that kind of DNA, and I loved it. I don't know if that video is going to go up before this, but I also, a couple weeks ago, smelled some niche fragrances. I got some samples of some niche fragrances and smelled them. There's one on there that I want that leans lemon. So I don't feel like I need to fight past the part that I don't like to get to the part that's kind of nice at the end. I would rather just have another perfume that I like. Like, the end, what comes down... It's okay, but not enough for me to fight the opening. Yeah, it's 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 whatever's at the top that pulls on my skin in that in that way. I'm I'm not here for it. I'm not here for it. Okay, this is Eilish number two, I believe, from Billie Eilish. The third one I never even tried. I ain't gonna hold you. I never smelled it. Never tried to get my hands on it. Um, is that an Ulta now? If it is, I ain't see it. It's been out long enough where it should have hit the stores by now. So maybe I'll try to go by there. No, I'm not. <laughs> I ain't even gonna hold you. I'm not even that interested. Especially based on the notes. And then when people did come out, I read the reviews. I was like, I'm, I'm okay. The first one is still my baby. Still my love. We'll repurchase when that bottle is done. It's good. It's great. This one is not really my DNA. And I don't like this, but I do. First of all, the bottle, the color. She killed the bottle. Like, the design so creative. I'm, I'm here for that. I know it's controversial, but sometimes controversial is a sign of something innovative and creative. So, I ain't got no problem with it. This is not really my scent profile. This leans way more masculine than I even I enjoy. Because I still, I do enjoy a little masculine. Unisex. Unisex masculine. That kind of is, is a little bit sweet. I do enjoy that. This is a little further on the deep end than I like to go, you know, but there's something about it. I ain't gonna hold you. It's a little forest in here. It's a couple of trees, you know, there's a few pine cones. <laughs> However, there's something sweet that's like, we ain't gonna let you go too far off the deep end. You know, I can't explain it other than to smell it. This is not blind by safe at all. Not even in the slightest. 
there's something about it that just comes back around and it's like I was getting ready to talk about you real bad but you done saved yourself I do want to read the notes for this uh, her website says an alluring aroma which opens with the freshness of Italian bergamot and apple blossom and flo it flows into a woody earthy spiciness of papyrus and black pepper with a contrast of wet wild wet poppy flowers a base of woody Palo Santo and ebony are expertly wrapped in a metallic nuanced veil of skin musk. Let me tell you something. If I read, if I had read that, I was, I'm not going to smell that. Which means I should probably smell the third one because I don't like the notes on the second one. But she's only got this one in a, in a hundred mil. The third one. I'm not buying a hundred mil of that. But I'm saying those notes... I would have read that and instantly said, oh, no. Oh, no. None of that sounds like it's up my alley. And it's not because I'm not going to like there's something in it that I really, I don't care for the earthiness of it. I don't. I really don't. But uh, it's like almost like an Arabian perfume. Almost. Like she snuck this one in. I don't know how she did it, but she snuck this one in. It's good in the way, remember I was talking about there was a white oud perfume oil that I got from the Arabian Perfume Oil Store when I was in New York? It's given, these are kind of given similar vibes. Similar, I'm sorry, I like it. I'm, I'm almost ashamed to say that I like it because I really don't like it, but I do. I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> okay, we are almost done. I know this one is long. This is Escada Show Me Love. I don't think I've worn this one since. Maybe once or twice. Okay. And I remember describing this as a just very juvenile, young, flirty, cute, blueberry scent. I still feel the same. It is reminiscent of some blueberry or blue shampoo or bubble bath we used to wear as children. I can't put my finger on what it is. It could be the, what was it, the No Tears, when I said No Tears or something. Something. It is extremely nostalgic of that for me. So for that reason, this camera's about, this battery about to die too. So for that reason, it's a love, but it's really not a necessity. Some probably will find it too juvenile. Um, and it probably kind of is, but that's kind of what you get with Escada too. Like, Escada is not for, to be taken seriously. It's supposed to be light, fun, flirty. Is this a necessity? No, but I like it and it's very nostalgic for me. Okay, last but certainly not least, we have the one that broke the internet. <laughs> I didn't, but Vanilla Potion from True Fragrances, okay? And my juice has definitely gotten darker since I have first opened this. I have definitely worn this a couple of times since first cracking her open. And I've talked about this. I talked about this in my 2023 viral products video. Um, I still say in the beginning there's this like spoiled milk thing that happens, right? That eventually goes away and it is a nice um, sort of citrusy vanilla, right? Do I understand why this broke the internet? No. However, I've said it. A million times I am not a basic vanilla lover I like some complexity and depth normally with my um, vanillas now that's not true for all of them because vanilla bourbon is pretty basic from the mix bar and I actually really love that one so um but I am very judgmental when it comes to vanilla I'll say that so from my perspective no I don't understand why this broke the internet however for a Perfume that's less than $20 that I can go pick up from my local Marshalls is fine. When you have to search the high heavens and go, go all across the tri-state area to, <laughs> to find it, it's just like, I don't know. Out to me personally, my personal opinion, if I had seen the hype, seen the hype, seen the hype, and I go to my local Marshalls, I can't find it. Then I end up going to two or three more stores to get it, and then this is what I smell. I would be disappointed, me personally. Is it a bad fragrance? No. Do I like it? Yes. Is it worth the hype, though? 
for me, it's a no. Is it worth the journey and the, the going to different places to get it? Again, for me personally, it's a no. But I'm very critical of vanilla. It takes a lot to really please me when it comes to vanilla. So, keep that in mind. Um, when I bought this one, I did get another one. Because I was like, if I end up liking it, I'm not searching again for it. So, even what I'm smelling here as that spoiled milk thing goes away, it's nice. It really is nice. And it doesn't smell like, oh, this is just a little... This is a little $10 perfume I got from Marshall. I would never smell that and say that. If I had never known, I wouldn't go, oh, child, that smells like a cheap little... It doesn't smell like that. It smells like, okay, this girl, you got a nice perfume. So, as it pertains to like a hidden jewel or a hidden gem, I get it. I would even give you more... It deserves hype for smelling more expensive than a $17 perfume than it deserves for being like this amazing vanilla, if that makes sense. Um... It's nice. I do like it. I'm happy to have it. I'm happy I was able to actually find it at my local Marshalls. But, um, they just need to make it a little bit more accessible. A little bit more accessible. I wish they would have kept the old packaging. The old packaging is better. However, I have, um, 